This is Dan, a vagabond Buddha. The picture you're looking at is me in India. I left the United States in 2007. I've traveled to about 64 countries at this time. I first kept track of my travels in a private travel blog, which I'll share with you if you like. But then I started Vagabond Budo, which gives more information about each place, cost of living, things to do, best places to stay, best restaurants, best way to get there, video walking tour, and the best travel or retire cheap to paradise locations in the world. Just click the link below this video if you'd like more information about this place. Now here's our video. Iglesia de Santo Domingo, Cusco. Spain demolished the main temple of the sun of the Inca Empire. There are parts of the Sun Temple that can be toured on the grounds of Santo Domingo. When you see the quality of workmanship in the Inca uh, Sun Temple as compared to the Santo Domingo, you will sincerely wonder why Europe described the original people of the Americas as naive. Within the temple, uh, Santo Domingo, instead of completely demolishing the entire temple, you can see they've left the foundation there. Um, and towards the bottom you see more of like of a gray, a gray structure and what those are stones that are perfectly fitted so you don't need mortar you can't even fit a human hair between those stones and and, and they also run along the, ba the base of the fence you can see them in there too and so what you have here is an Inca foundation uh, with a church built on top comes crumbling down. Uh, the church comes crumbling down every time there's an earthquake, but the infrastructure remains fine. You have to go inside and take the tour, uh, and you'll see what the sun and the moon temple look like. The San Domingans were smart enough not to demolish uh, entirely the Inca structure. They left some, they hid it behind walls, uh, but, you, but now you can tour it and see how beautiful it is uh, with your own eyes. The quality of the workmanship of this Inca wall with these heavy, perfectly cut stones and this European, slightly similar rock surrounded by mortar, it's such an extreme uh, difference. For religion, people in here is a builder of the colonial church. Now the name of the colonial church is Santo Domingo de Guzman. Right. It's the first religion coming together with the Spaniards people to Peru. Strip in different Inca strip or Inca construction. Normally, it's, you can see this place, the rocky south side. Yes. Other people say that probably it's not finally the police head of the stone. Other reports say that the astronomers people in here in Temple of the Sun is necessary to study the position of the sun. What in what day is the the new year? The new year is in 21st June. Yes, oh. for the Andean people from the Inca time, the new year is beginning in 21st June. That day is very important day where the people, the history people, is necessary to write it, to take a picture in this place. You can the sun in 21st June is beginning from the east. When the sun is in that position, because in here there are a shop and. And here is very short, and other is very long. Uh -huh. And then, in other ones, it's not half sharp because the world is more, and then it's not the same position of the shadow. The astronomers people, it's necessary to study of the shadow every day, every month, because it's necessary to do the calendar, agricultural calendar, religion calendar, all the time. Mm -hmm. The name, say, Inti Watana. Inti means sun, Inti. Wata means is year. So in Machu Picchu, it's more big, in very top level. In here, there are no walls or special street. Yeah. It's very important to start. I asked the guide about this wall right here that you're looking at, and you can see this looks like Inca cut right here. 
but it has mortar between it. And uh, what she's saying is that what they did is they disassembled, they disassembled other actually beautiful buildings and threw them together with mortar just because they were incompetent. They didn't know, the Spanish just didn't know what they were doing. Um, and so, but then you look at another building, like over there, you can see the perfect Inca workmanship, you know, that's at this point, you know, could, could easily be from 1300 now, so 800 years ago, still fitting together perfectly, but then a European building built on top of it. This is a sacred um, burial place for the Inca. And um, you, these notches in the wall here are where they would put the mummies. Um, and um, the Spanish, uh, in an attempt to win over to Catholicism, uh, destroyed any kind of idol. It's believed that this rock right here in the middle of this um, uh, area was a puma. Um, and the Spanish just took, you know, metal to it and banged on it until you could no longer recognize that this is a puma. But um, they were, uh, you know, Spanish had a jealous god. I don't know how else to say it, so. These tunnels were used, uh, it's believed because it was cooler in here. Um, and they were used in the mummification process. The Incas believed that you had life after death. And uh, so they carved these uh, tunnels through these rocks uh, in order to have the areas that were very cool because the mummies, uh, it was easier to process them in cool areas. As you can see, all the stone here is uh, cut very finely by the Incans. Whatever, wherever there was no idols, the Spanish left it alone. This stone is cooler than the other stone touches. Yeah, so they kept dead bodies on here and they mummified them. And, um, very cool. You're probably used for the a knife or different material is just is put in that way. In here, there are probably a big mirror use the silver and the gold in the middle with the sun, it have reflection lining inside. Uh, in the morning is for uh, that place, in the afternoon for that place, in the middle of the day for this. Oh wow. When it's a lot of raining, it's very humid because it's very cold. You can see a lot of water inside. Oh right, right. This is the Inca, Inca temple, Tambo Macha. And this water has been running forever. <laughs> this is the original, this is how it was when Spain showed up. And this thing was probably built around 1300, so this workmanship is 800 years old. So put that in your pipe and smoke it. It's starting to become more clear to me here who the heathens were. Thanks for listening to our video. If you enjoyed the video, please click like, leave a comment below, subscribe to Vagabond Buddha, or click the link below the, the no, in the notes below this YouTube video to find out more about this location or all of the Travel Cheap to Paradise locations uh, on Vagabond Buddha. Thank you.